By the end of this video, you will be able to add Glissando to the music that you are working on in the music notation software at MuseScore Studio. Let's get started. So you're going to want to have MuseScore Studio open. And in order to add a glissando or a glissandi to your notes that you're working on, you want to make sure you have a couple notes input. And in order to add that glissando, now what I'm going to do is go over to the palettes, and I need to look for glissando in arpeggios. Um, I don't see it over here, so what I need to do is add that palette. Um, if you don't see your palettes icon here, make sure you have view and palettes. So view and then F9, so palettes will show up. So now I need to add that arpeggio and glissando to the palettes. And what I'm going to look for is arpeggios and glissandos. I'm going to press the plus icon. And so now I'm going to click outside of that box. And so now there's my arpeggio and glissando. So you want to drop down with the little arrow there. And what we're going to want to do, uh, now MuseScore has made this easier in the newest version. And what you can do is uh, you can either be in no put input mode or not no put input mode. And basically you can just take that glissando left click and then drag it to the note you'd like it to start on. So I want it to start on the first note and it will turn purple. You can kind of see it turns purple and then it, let release. And once I release it, you can see the glissando effect was added. And so I'm going to zoom out. So the glissando effect now is part of the playback as well. And I'm going to go ahead and just play this real quick so you can hear it. Perfect. So you could hear the glissando was added to the playback. If you want to learn how to change the glissando uh, with the playback controls, that's in another video, and I'll put a link to that video here. Uh, but in this video, we're just showing you how to add those glissando effects to your music. Uh, let's say I would like to delete that glissando effect. I'm going to zoom in so you can see the effect. Uh, make sure that you are not in note input mode. So right now I am in note input mode to turn blue, so I need to uh, make sure that's node input mode there. So I'm going to press N and now I'm not. So I'm going to be able to select that uh, glissando so you can see it turns kind of purple. And then I'm just going to press delete on my keyboard and that will delete it from the score. Let's say I would like to add a different glissando effect to those two notes. Now what I can do is take the, the wavy glissando and I can left click on that. The same process, just drag and drop. And so now the wavy glissando is there. Again, if I hit the playback, you'll hear it with playback as well. And again, to delete that, I would just have the node input mode turned off, left click, and then press delete on my keyboard. So you now know how to add glissandi to the music that you're working on in MuseScore Studio. If you made it this far into the video, you might also be interested in how to change the playback controls with the glissandi and arpeggios as well. I made another video that covers this in detail, and I'll put a link to that video here.